So tell me a little bit about your background, your training, and when did you know you wanted to be a dentist? Randy, uh, my first love was photography. Okay. Yeah, I've learned about the pinhole camera, black and white, and everything else. Then when I became a, a senior in high school, my father hooked up with a dentist and, um, you know, asked him if he can, can I, I can observe. And I did, and then I bent wires from him, Holly retainers and, and all, for five years and just loved every minute of it. Okay. And then um, that's when I give up photography and pursue dentistry and loved every minute of it. Uh, I do integrate photography and dentistry together now uh, for every patient that comes through. Uh, we do take before and after cases and do in-progress cases uh, just to show the, the progression. Um, dentistry is amazing. Um, I can say this. I enjoy dentistry every day. Um, I do it Monday through Friday. And on the weekend, I do fly around the country and uh, help other dentists. And if I can conclude one thing, that I'm good at would be dentistry. Okay. Yeah. And dental implants seems to be your focus. You've had a lot of training in dental implants. Yes. Um, uh, actually, to my mentor, uh, Arun Gog from University of Miami School of Medicine, Dr. Gog um, get, took me under his wing. And as uh, I've learned so much from the gentleman to uh, where my skill now, I can pass on to other dentists and let them help their patient in their practice. So every other month, I mean, you're somewhere teaching other dentists about dental implants. Is that right? True. Um, matter of fact, I just came from St. Kitts, where the dentist lined up some patients on the stuff that he wants to learn more. And his question, I mean, his request was, hey, Kui, I've crossed paths with you three years ago, and you were so amazing past, uh, teaching me. And uh, can you take me to the next level? And so I opened up that opportunity and we lined up some cases together. And so you do live stuff right in front of him or with him? With him, yes. I call it over the shoulder training uh, where I guide him and if it's straightforward, all I do is take photos. And if he needs anything that is not comfortable, then I would give him a hands-on. 